your steps, the calories you burn, how active you are, your times of uh, inactivity. So we can try to get consciousness and mindfulness around how active somebody is, what kind of sleep they're getting, what they're eating, and, uh, and, and try to get them to live better. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could put tracking device on all of those people that are, that are going through that research over a long period of time, discover within that data the early indicators or precursor data of fracturings in your sleep or extended uh, sedentary periods or slowing in the, in the speed of motion or who knows, right? It's exploratory to see if we can find patterns that express themselves as precursors to the expression of those biomarkers. So if your A1C level is an indicator of becoming pre-diabetic, what are the natural health behaviors that are going to lead eventually to the raising of that, that A1C, right? And then we could start the intervention, the psychological interventions on behavior, five, three, two, whatever it is, years in advance to try to change that behavior in order to truly be preventive on the, on the disease side. For me, it's, it's not just that you get this disease and it costs the economy this much. And um, it's about what that, especially as, as we have an, uh, an aging population, what's the quality of life during that aging process, right? Are you going to be in and out of the hospital suffering on medications with a cloudy mind that leads to dementia, that leads to, to this onset of basically a, a suffering modality? Or can we start much earlier, get you into a lifestyle pattern that aging is going to be an enjoyable retirement of health and happiness and taking care of the grandkids and going on hikes and traveling the world, right? <laughs>